<laughs> right, I left a little something for you. Right, so yeah. I hit it down in the yard here. If you know wood, you know what's good. Down there. Everyone right. loves to see it. Oh, boy. It's been out in the sun. You know, it's a pretty cool knife, actually. And you know what? I've been telling people, I've, I t I've told people that I'm going to... Uh, it's a stinking butter knife. That I'm... Uh, yeah. Uh, that I'm going to get after my um, license plate. Remember, will it sharpen? And I sharpened the license plate. And then uh, I told people that I would make it even sharper. We've not done that. I know uh, right where it is. And I need to uh, uh, I need to get a couple of those butter knives that I sharpened and thin them out and see if I can't make them, you know, really sharp. Uh, well, let's one. do your butter, mark, the, the butter knot test. Paper, right. paper to butter knot to slice. There you go. Pushes it right out of the way. No, no, no. Oh, there. Now these little teeth, some of them are, they're actually ground right to the side. So they're actually going to cut a little bit. So if we cup the paper, make it more rigid, draw the knife. Oops, how did I? Oh, okay, I'm kind of sawing the paper. Can you saw some butter for us? All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, use the V-notch. Okay. And uh, rip, and I'm gonna leave stuff right here. You, oh, man, that. You're doing the backside. Yeah. Is that okay? We can. I was gonna say we'd make a, a nice knife out of it, but oh my gosh, those are like really deep. Um, let's see. That's really gonna chatter. Hang uh -huh. on. Let's see if I can actually rip the uh, serrated part off. And smooth it a little. I'm going to keep turning the sharpener a little this way, a little that way, and see what I can accomplish here. It's getting quieter, so I must be removing. Uh, this is hard to hold. Yeah, I don't want to mark up the bench. You got a piece of wood right over here too. Yeah, let's get down here and see if if that'll work. The stability. So using a V notch, stability is a good key. Yeah. Well, the chips are sh flying. I can smell it. It's getting warm. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the metal as it actually shaves the metal off. It'll heat the blade up. All right, I'm curious. Okay, definitely much better. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it's amazing. That knife is kind of warm. All right, I'm going to rip at it just a little more. Don't want to get too dirty. These are my clothes headed for Atlanta tonight. Are you helping Cabo? He said, well, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so what are you doing? I know it's getting down uh, to where I'm creating a larger flat surface on the sides uh, because I can actually see wider pieces of metal coming off. actually says he sharpened his axes and his hatchets 
with the V-notch. And I'll be absolutely honest with you, I really don't believe that. <laughs> I don't think you can get an ax or a hatchet blade in that hole. So, uh, I used the other side, yeah, but not the V-notch. I just don't think that would work, tell you the truth. All right, now let's just kind of take care of the little wire edge. If the wire edge has developed, wire edge will only develop on a, on a very sharp instrument. That's way different than it was. So let's hurry. That actually hangs on to the finger uh, pretty damn good. Amazing. I always wonder what I can get away with when I do things like that. What it's going to take to actually break through the surface of the skin. One side is definitely thicker than the other. Got a little different bevel on it. All your demonstration and talk, and you've been working on it for almost 300 seconds. Almost 300 seconds, okay. Definitely getting sharper. And what product did you use? The long handle. I used Cadmus long handle. We did a video. Uh, you'll you'll see it as you go through here. Uh, it's a it, it is a return, and it's a return by Kenneth from California. And you can definitely see more scratches in the plastic from me using it, and the little bit that it was used before. Can't wear them out, just use them. You can push, I'm gonna dig like this, like I'm cutting, like that. I can sure see the uh, metal shavings. And make your pants. How many people out there are going like, they could scratching a blackboard right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can I can see the pigtails of metal. All right, let's wow. uh, move right along here. Still pretty thick, but that's okay. I do it just to prove I can. I do it to prove you can. If I can do it, you can do it. All you gotta do is get the angles right and stuff. Put a little pressure on it, you know. There, you, that's really changed tremendously well that now goes in a new drawer come here this brad just having fun if i prove to you that i can do it you can do it it's not special about me all you got to do is, uh, you know, put some pressure on it, get your angle right, be a little persistent, get right with it. Cut it down with the V-notch for a little bit, then go after it with the open face and then finish it off by touching it really light and flip the knife every pass, just like that. That cuts that little burr, the little wire edge off the blade, polishes the cutting edge a little bit, and you're in business and you'll end up with a butter knife that's actually pretty sharp. This is Brad Buckner. You take care and stay sharp out there.